Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can add the interactivity in the bar chart utilizing the shiny package. So in my previous video I have talked about how you can create the bar chart by using the bar plot function and then how you can adjust its properties like legend or group bar chart or step bar chart and in this video we will see how we can utilize the shiny package and add the interactivity for our end user so that those who are utilizing our bar chart don't have to write any command or anything but most of these options are intuitive enough so that they are selecting or uh, checking the let's say checkbox and making sure that the relevant action is happening for example uh, if we have a stack bar chart so from stack bar chart we want to create group bar chart then there is an option for creating a group bar chart so if you see here here is a quick shiny ui package where we have the shiny ui the standard syntax syntax and fluid page for the title panel we are saying bar chart and after the comma we have sidebar layout so sidebar layout is basically specifying that we need a on the left hand side we need all of our control panel control like checkbox select bar stuff like that so within the sidebar layout we need to specify sidebar panel and then the control name so right now i have specified checkbox input for sidebar and what i'm specifying that create a sidebar for this example finally after the comma we have main panel so the third component of shiny ui and which specifies that we want a plot output of bar that means bar chart this bar is specified over here over here so that is a part of output dollar bar function which is the which is basically taking the output from this reactive render plot function and all of this is happening under the shiny server so shiny server is basically to do all the processing or uh, basically to perform all the actions or instructions you are giving in the front end. So what it takes is basically input, the input that you are basically, you know, getting from the front end and output that you are having over here from this reactive function and output is going back to the UI on in the main, main panel. So within the server.r, what we are specifying is the empty cars for empty cars package we are aggregating the data using the tapply function the same function i have applied uh, when i have used the uh, bar chart in the previous example so this basically gives us the mpg miles per gallon by the by the automatic or manual uh, car type and and based on how many gears a car is having <coughs> so based on that we are getting the cross table and what we want is basically mean that means the average of mpg so this bar is producing the data set that is needed to create the bar chart in the next line we have the bar plot function to create the bar chart and the first parameter is to specify the data set and we are saying beside which is an argument to tell whether we want a stack bar chart or side by side bar chart so when beside is specified to input dollar sidebar this sidebar is specified over here as a checkbox so once we are giving the input to our shiny application that we need sidebar this function will start performing the action so let's see this entire thing into action by going on to the run app and here we have the bar chart and as expected we on the left hand side we have the create sidebar so once i click over here it gives or it reacts and give us the bar chart which is side by side so that's the first thing that you can do and create an interactivity and uh, an options for the end users where they can go ahead and choose whatever is feasible or right for them for their analysis so that's the first thing I wanted to cover. Um, the second thing that we that is very beneficial is sometimes to choose what value we want to show on the x-axis and y-axis. So right now on the x-axis we have gears and on the y-axis we have miles per gallon. 
and then this data is by uh, these stacks are by AM that is automatic or manual car type so if if you see this is like automatic and this is manual and miles per gallon is is better in manual car for the four cylinder so that's that's the uh, one thing that we are getting another option which i just said is how we can specify the x-axis and y-axis so for that we need to write some additional code and for that let's go here and first of all go into the ui.r and specify the inputs for x-axis and y-axis so select input and let's say call it x-axis and we want to mention in the front end to the user select the value for x-axis and let's say we want a by default selected as here right put a comma again select input we want y-axis and we say select the value for y-axis and let's say selected is equals to mpg by default we want these two things to be selected so we are good here we have given the two controls x x selection for x x axis and selection for y axis now go to the server dot r and create or modify this t apply function so right now we are fixing the y parameter to dollar mpg but in this case we want the input from the end user so for that what we may need to do is we need to use empty cars which is an inbuilt data set which I was using for this example and I modify it by putting two brackets and put a comma so first so the value before the comma specify the rows and value after the comma specify the column and we want the column from the uh, front end so in this case input dollar so si since this is y axis we are saying y axis so what it will have the column name that we are specifying in the front end for y axis same is the stuff we need to do so right now let's just create a simple one and not uh, not a bar chart which has which is having two parameter so empty cards input dollar x axis which is which we have by default specified gear so if i hit save one thing i need to specify over here is um, the the drop down what are the values that are need to be there in the drop down so for that i will use col column names function and i will put empty cards put a comma otherwise there will be nothing in the front end for drop down box call names empty cards so with this function we will get the values in the drop down of the m of the select input or the uh, control so let's go ahead and click reload now if you can see we have bar chart we have two controls x axis and y axis and sidebar the sidebar will not work in this case because we are not specifying the value or we have not done the configuration in the back end but here in this case i can select any value for my x axis currently it is gear if i want i can select automatic or manual car type so zero and one or maybe any other thing um, let's say I want to select the cylinders see why I so something which is good to have but sometimes user may confuse or may get confused because they may select mpg and mpg well in this case uh, if you are trying to figure out some sort of a relevant figures then or meaningful to you then okay otherwise generally on x-axis you have the categorical data so like CYL and similarly for y-axis you can change the values displacement or chart or whatever is your chart whatever your chart is basically or your analysis is required so that's that's about how you can uh, quickly add the interactivity and make your user happy 
and give them all the options you know which which they really need so that they have less and less requests to you so after this uh, you may definitely want to add couple of more values in the list to create a group bar chart or scion or stack bar chart well for that uh, i am leaving as an exercise to you about how you can do that but the hint is that you need to add another value over here in the list similar to that this one and then specify it for the x1 or y1 axis so same is the case you need to give the y axis that we are selecting mpg what another y axis you want y2 axis and same is the stuff you will need to specify based on what you are giving so that's pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this video and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic